And then the one that I dislike is <laughs> the eggs. <laughs> now, I've got... My main reason for disliking them is there's no names on them. Which someone would be like, what do you mean? And I mean like, there's no name to differentiate all the eggs from each other. So like, if I was on the website and I wanted to buy one more, and it was pink. I know there's a matte pink and there's a glossy pink. So it's like, which one do I yeah. need? On the website, it's not really clear. And I just, yeah, I don't like that there's no name on these anywhere. It's like the e.l.f. blushes, the cream yeah. blushes. They're not on the actual packaging. That annoys me. And then the formula is quite chalky on these. And then again, look, you've got... That's not even a matte. No. It's like a matte with... It's like a colour pop matte with shimmer in it. Yeah, but, but it's, it's not, not as good. good. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah, it's just a very chalky... This one's smashed. I actually got this... Did you get it on second hand? I think I did. Yeah. I would have... No, I wouldn't have even bought them second hand. Yeah, but I just wanted to collect them. So. Which makes sense, but I just... No. No. I like to collect these, but I just... They're not my favourite thing from iHeart at all. And then we're going to move on to Obsession. You can go first. I really want to because I love this palette. Absolutely love it. I did a video on this when it came out for Valentine's. Maybe not 2020, maybe 2019 it came out. I remember doing the video because it was when I used to sit on my bed and like film with the sofa pulled in oh yeah and i had the lights in the background which oh. i might do at some point yeah um and then the color story is a me color oh, story it is a real you color story <laughs> and it's really like matte heavy which i love and like look one two three four five five shimmers in here oh my god that's so good for an obsession palette and they, they started off good obsession where they did things like this but then like whoever's ahead of obsession kind of took what revolution do and go shimmer heavy whereas and they took away the fact that because this you can tell this one's an older palette because you can take the shades out and then they stopped doing yeah. that and i feel like that was something that was quite novel because obsession started as a singles brand yeah i remember it being a big stand in boots where it was all singles, singles. you made your own palette yeah, yeah, yeah. so when they started to introduce normal palettes i liked the aspect that they still kept that that you could like swap and change it yeah. if you wanted to not that i would because i'm not that kind of person mm. But it's there if you wanted it, whereas now you can't. Whereas some people in the um, Patreon groups, they do actually take them out and yeah. rearrange these palettes. But in the newer palettes, I've got a newer one here. Does that have the names inside of it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, that's what annoys me. If it didn't have the names written on it, yeah. I could rearrange it. Like, yeah. But it's the name aspect that annoys me. Because then if you want to do a video, it's not the right shade in the right place. Yeah, that's true. This. There you go, that's yeah, a newer one. That's a newer one. So yeah i didn't yeah i kind of i agree with all of that mm. like if they were gonna do this kind of palette where you can swap and change just don't put the names on yeah we don't mind i i wouldn't mind but i wouldn't swap and change this because of the names like that would yeah. annoy me it would Same. really annoy me if i was saying the wrong names or if i was using it and i didn't it wasn't the right name even if i never used it in a video again it would annoy me the fact that it's in the wrong place and i couldn't do it like i just couldn't and then your favourite from Obsession. So if you watch my top 10 palettes video. Or if you know Jodie overall. Then <laughs> you will have already guessed what my favourite Obsession palette is. And that is the Tiff collab. I know I said that, oh, we'll put all the collabs together. But this one was Obsession, so it was a bit different. Mm. Um, I feel and find it weird that the, they've had two collabs, haven't they? They've had the Belle Jordan collab and then this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, feel like. I like the Belle Jordan one. I never, I never got the palette, but I like the liquid lips. Oh, I got the palette and I loved it. Or the, they're meant to be lip glosses. You've never even used it. <laughs> I did a video on this one. Apparently Liz didn't. I got it late. and then Oh, I, did you? Yeah, and then I didn't feel like I could uh, review it anymore. That's fair. So if you watch my video, you know that I love this because A, it's a rainbow. What Liz hates about this palette is actually something I love about mm. it. So go on, tell them what you hate about this. I hate the layout. I just... Someone like me who's not very creative and not very artistic, and I can see why the layout is it is the way it is, but I hate the layout. I just I can't. No, I love the layout for the for like the same reason you yeah. hate it because I think it's actually easier in this format because you've got all the colours you need together. So you've got all your yellows that are going into oranges, that will go into pinks and purples and greens and blues. But for me, and I that's like when you're doing a rainbow it makes it easier because they're all there in the order you need them 
But do you know what? And they all go, they all blend into each other beautifully. For a very OCD person when it comes to my makeup, I need it all circles and next to each other. No. Or I, I need it in rows, I need it in columns, I no. can't. It, it freaks me out. <laughs> I find it easier because it's in this format. But you can tell that's like, I'm not artistic whatsoever. <laughs> no, for a mark. Can't draw to save my life. Yeah, but you clocked on with like artistic eye looks more quicker than I'll ever yeah. clock onto them. Because this freaks me out. But the formula of this is also amazing. Yeah, I've heard that actually. It, it is one of their better palettes, personally. Mm. I think they did get the formula spot on. And the liners from this range are incredible. I don't own the liners. You the need range. to. I absolutely I love them. Them and the Bratz liners are my favourite Revolution eyeliners. My least favourite is it's got to be this the Mood palette. It didn't swatch that great. It didn't work out that great on my eyes. I love the Ariana Grande aesthetic to oh, it. Oh, yeah, it is quite, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I get that. I didn't like the mascara either. I couldn't get on with... No, yeah, yeah, yeah I, yeah, I didn't like that one. And I loved the, the layout, but I just... <laughs> It didn't work. It was, no. look, that's when you know, when a colour is sprayed around its yeah. sides, you know I struggled with it. And, yeah, it didn't, it just, it didn't work. I loved the colour layout, but the formula did not, and yet it worked for Alex, and it didn't work for me. Sometimes some palettes are duds, and I mm -hmm. think I got a dud. And that's the new packaging we're on about, you can't take them shades out. Yeah, let me um show. Uh -oh. This compare Which is annoying because the back has numbers on it, but then the, it doesn't have the words on it, which is just a bit weird. Yeah. So, like, you can take out these shades, but you can't take out these. And I'd want to rearrange that because that is annoying. That I can cope with. But I think because the colour scheme in that one is so over the place, mm. I'd want to take them on. Whereas I like the colour scheme of this. It really... I, I, I like would, it. I'd know what to do, even though, like... Because it's all cool tone, it's kind of my vibe, mm. so I know what to do with that. But... I didn't like the formula. It no. just didn't. I love the Ariana Grande aesthetic. I always, I feel like that's what it reminds me of. Yeah. But yeah, those are our obsessions, and I think we're going to move to. You've got one. I yes. Do. So oh, what I don't like are these. Mm -hmm. These are five pound. Bear in mind that one that you've got is ten. Yeah, it's like double the. Like, I'm <laughs> sorry. What are you doing? Maybe three pounds, two pound fifty. Yeah. To or me... just don't make it, or make it bigger. They are tiny. Do you know like, how you can hard... just about get your brush in that? Yeah. And do you know how hard they are to put your finger in? Yeah. Like to swatch them. I got fat fingers. Like, no. And they have a stupid amount of shimmers in them. Mm. I think the blue and the green one of this has one matte. Wow. Yeah. It yeah. just annoys me. Like. Mm. Just don't make them. Yeah. Or make them this size and charge people ten pound because people want monochrome palettes like this. Like it was very Ooh, in. Could you imagine an orange palette? That exactly. Big? That would be with nice. enough mattes. <laughs> not. I mean, this one has three. But one of them's a white. <laughs> I just it's no. It's revolution. Don't don't waste your money. <laughs> you know, if she if that wasn't mine, it was her. She probably would have flung it across the room. I mean, I flung it on the bed. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, finally, I feel like I've said this three times, we can move to Sorry. Revolution Pro. No, it's my fault. We can. I'm moving on too fast. Okay, Rev Pro. I'm going to say what I love, because I love these. I went Cypress last year, and I reviewed a bunch of palettes be before fair. I went. Mine's, mine's a new neutral. Yeah, the new neutral range was really nice, and I felt like it was new at the time. Yeah. It was something new for Revolution. Definitely. Um, I struggled oh, with one of the shimmers, but some of the shimmers I don't struggle with. I feel like the formula's a bit hit and miss in these palettes, but I love that there was a lot of mattes across the top and a few in the middle. Yeah, there's a lot more mattes in these palettes. Mm. I do get what you're saying. I think when a palette's hit and miss, especially one shade, when it's a Rev Pro one, it's a little bit more annoying just because they are more expensive. Yeah, these are like £12, or are they 15 now? I feel like they're 15 could be yeah. I know they were like some of them were dupes for Huda palettes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do. I did. I like that there's pressed glitters in here as well, and they've got yeah, two lovely. The duo chromes didn't work the greatest, and I've used this a few times since then, and I love the formula. But these flat shades work better than the duo chromes, and I love these duo chromes because it's like purple and then it's like blue. But yeah, it did. <laughs> 
it's hit and miss with the formula but the palette overall the color of the palette the packaging the story of it i love it i love it mm. the price point i don't love anymore i love that the leopard print yeah. leopard print is my vibe <laughs> has been since i was in school i used to wear leopard print like leggings all the time <laughs> and then i would pair it with like um a gray cardigan or something oh, i was never a leopard print girl oh i love leopard print big hoops all I've, of it oh i love me some big hoops but... <laughs> But yeah, that was the Rev Pro that we both basically liked. Yeah. And then what we disliked, which is different for mm -hmm. us, and something that I disliked that I haven't used again is these palettes. Now these, I think I was more disappointed by them when they arrived. They're 10 pounds and the packaging is cheap it on is. these. It feels like they're a three, four pound palette. And then the shimmers, it's very shimmer heavy and it's not as- They don't even look like good shimmers. Yeah, I haven't even, ooh. Okay, no, take no it back. they're good shimmers. <laughs> they're wicked. They don't look it, but then they come off better. Yeah, it kind of like. But if that was sat on a shelf and you you couldn't tell that the shimmer was going to be nice, I wouldn't pay ten pounds for that. Yeah, and a bit crumbly, but I think with your finger that would work well. I think crumbly shimmers tend to be quite good. Though. Yeah, you just got to work with them, but don't you? I wouldn't pay the price point. No, not ten pounds. And you can't, you can't like. What mat are you going to use? I wouldn't use either of the mattes to pair with that colour. Like, I feel like the colour story is really bad. Whereas I would. I would use that. I would need, like, two more mattes in there to help me out. I'd need, I'd need like, ready-toned mattes. To Maybe more me. warmer tone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. that, I would not pair with any of the shimmers that are in there. Yeah, no, I see where you're coming from. But colour I think I now. could work with it. And they... they you're like they should be like one pound yeah they feel like you know like a makeup advent calendar yeah, yeah they feel like they've come out of one of them yeah no i get what you're saying especially as it's rev pro you're paying for it to be more bougie i think yeah like, for 10 pounds i wouldn't no. pay for this i think i got them I, i'm always using discount codes and i'm always using my points because they when you use your points with rev you still get points from the order you're making oh that's good which i love yeah. this is why i always have points because i'm always making an order <laughs> but the shimmer formula is nice in these but i was just disappointed because when they came they just looked so cheap but i do i kind of i semi like them but i semi feel like they're a bit of a disappointment for revolution pro but yeah what are your thoughts what do you guys think who's got one of these who's used it let me know because is it just me is it i like... don't think it is just you <laughs> my dis despise i don't know any of them for this one reason is the quads from um, revolution pro and that is because they are all shimmers or like the majority of them have three shimmers on one mat you can't make a look out of that i'm sorry i don't like shimmer in my crease unless it has like unless i'm putting a shimmer there for a reason like these are all shimmers and although they look beautiful yeah i can't make a look out of that whereas the shimmer formula of these are incredible they look beautiful mm. in terms of the shimmer quality but are you gonna buy it just because you want a shimmer that's the thing. Are, are these exp are these like ten pounds? Yeah, I love the packaging of them as well. The packaging is beautiful. To yeah, be fair. but I just hate the fact that they're all shimmers. I don't know. I just have a real bad soft spot for these. No. I absolutely love them. There's a reason why I don't own them in my collection. That is why. <laughs> but then I have one more um, Revolution. No, I don't. I thought that was a Rev Pro. It's not, is it? No, it's XX. Which is the next brand we're moving on to, and the last brand because yeah. my throat is quite dry to be fair. Same. Um, go on, go on, go first. Next. Yeah. So my XX fave is the either of these. They do a purple one as well, and that's the X-ray. I don't know what the other one's called. Is it exposure? No. It's an X something. It's <laughs> something. There's a purple one basically. This one is the pink one, and I absolutely love the color story because they have kept it predominantly pink mm. there are some golds in here but then you would pair that with yeah. pink so i understand but you have enough of a ratio of pinks that one. i know it's gorgeous in it mm. I, th I just love the fact that there's a good amount of pinks there's a good variation of said pinks and, and you've got some that is a just matte right in the middle there gorgeous shimmers to go with it yeah do you know what i would use that as a blush yeah and i think as much as these are 20 pound I, I do actually think the quality is worth it you know i always get them on the introductory offer for 15 and yeah. then i use the code and then i use the <laughs> i bought mine off carly thanks carly <laughs> <laughs> but yeah that's my love i have two loves 
because I couldn't choose. I have the kombucha one because this introduced me to oranges and I love this one. before I was not like an orangey type person, even though I do kind of like warm tones, I stick to more berry or cool tone palettes. But this one really introduced me to oranges. Packaging is beautiful as well. Yeah, and like everyone, when people watch Missa and she puts like those blushes on yeah. and does monochromatic looks, I'm like, oh my God. And this got me, the orange look I did with this, like, Ooh, yeah. I really loved. And look, you can see I love the palette. Oh it's, 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 it's messy. Well. <laughs> but I absolutely love it and then like you can use these two as blushes I use that I can use that as a highlight it's a very like imagine that middle orange as a blush as well though. I've used both of those oh and then even this on darker skin tones if I could and use a really light hand I haven't tried it yet but I would use that one but I've used this for highlight I've used it for blush I've used the eyeshadows I definitely think these like monochrome palettes are like their best the one that wasn't that people weren't sure about had the red sin but it was green well, yeah or... the greeny one yeah but i i didn't mind it with the reds because I, I would use the reds yeah but like every will think about this the formula x x palettes are really nice and yeah. there's a black in there because i know some people really like having a black in their yeah, palette there's a black in this one as well actually yeah. yeah 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 so the only thing they're missing is a white but then they've got like very light transition shades here as well mm. so i don't know and then this orangey gold shade at the top is it this one yeah this one i absolutely love everything about this palette i love and it got me into orangey looks and wearing orange lip and wearing like orange eyes orange cheeks even though it was a bit like very monochromatic but yeah i love this palette and then the other one that i love do you have no you've got one no i've only got one this massive thing. If I owned this one, it would be in it. <laughs> this is the Cloud palette, and this I absolutely loved because of who? Who was it? Alex. I know Alex definitely did a video on that one. She did. Someone compared it's most it. Most likely Alex. I feel like it's Alex, but I feel like <laughs> there was one more person that used this. That watching both videos combined really made me want this palette. And it's a very pastel palette. And I'm not a pastel person, but compared to that Revolution Forever Flawless pa Butterfly palette, this will show up on different skin types. Yeah. And oh, it's just... It is beautiful. Yeah, and it again, you can use some of these as blushes. That one over Mango Daiquiri from Mitchell. Yeah, oh. that one. You can use some as blushes. These purples, the pinks. And like, if you want to... keep I like that they've got the purple, pinks, and oranges, and then they've got the greens, yellows, and blues. It's aesthetic to yeah. look at, like the gradient. Yeah, I love it. And it got me into my first, I did my first rainbow look with this palette. My first ever one. And it took me forever. <laughs> <laughs> I was filming for hours, but yeah, this, it, the price point is £28, but I think it's worth it. I think they're worth it. Yeah. Agreed. But just wait for a discount. And Black Friday sales are probably still going on. And then your dislike isn't the formula, it is the layout of this palette and it really gripes me and I won't buy it because of this reason. Mm. It's the eccentric palette and the reason I hate this is purely the layout is chaotic and my brain just can't, I just can't handle the layout, I'm sorry, it really annoys me. It's weird how you find something more chaotic and I will find that pleasing, like that's, that's not pleasing to me. I did that the review on this palette, I remember this one because I had both but I chose to review this one and there's colours in there that my eyes gravitate towards, yeah. that one, that one, that one. I hate how it's laid out. Yeah, I, I just hate it. <laughs> whereas I can, I can use it. Your one that you just showed is like I can deal with that and it. I can put colour like stuff together. This makes me want to cry and hide. Whereas that, I, fo I <laughs> my eyes, they, they focus on something and then they can't unfocus, if that makes sense. Yeah, I keep looking at this blue. But like I can see it's blue, so. <laughs> if they moved things around, it, you'd like it. So they could have it more like the cloud palette yeah. where you've got your purples, your pinks, your greens. See this, I, I wouldn't mind departing and, and rearranging. Mm. I could deal with doing that because there's no name attached to it. Yeah. But I also, I just can't bring myself to buy it. Could you imagine them naming a 66 pound eyeshadow palette? Mm, it's a lot in it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's my reasoning for this one is just, it's, I hate the layout. Mm, whereas I love that palette. Then, last, 
The one that I hate, who remembers the XX gift set from last year? It was like a box, you could pull it out, there was drawers. Yeah. I gave the box to my little sister and made her like a little gift set out of it. I like the box. The box is good for a younger child, so it's like you could keep the palettes and stuff for yourself. And I enjoyed quite a lot in there, same as me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Stop um, trying not to yawn. But I didn't like the palette in there. I couldn't work with this. This is the Jealousy palette. I believe this is from the set. And it was just, I used oh. it once and I found it, there's two mattes in there. And they're pastel. <laughs> yeah, it was just, and this isn't a Christmas palette, like it came out no. at Christmas. I hate it when, when brands, I could rant about this all day, do an advent calendar and then the colours are nothing to do with Christmas. Yeah. Like, I'm sorry, I'm not going to do a pink eye on Christmas, like, I'm all about the golds. The reds. I'm all about the reds. Greens. The greens. Like, Christmas colours, not pink. You can't even see the matte that well. No. It, 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 it didn't swatch nicely, it was really hard to work with. The packaging is okay, but they all look like this and they have like a different colour. Because there's four of them, three that came out as for Christmas yeah. and one that came in a gift set. Um, and I believe most people have sold their ones. I think for XX they can do better. Yeah. Like, I don't expect that from Revolution. Mm. I wouldn't expect that of XX when their price range is so much higher. Yeah, and like the colours, not the colour story, the packaging is really nice. Like, it's thick That's packaging. the thing, like, it feels good quality, it just doesn't look great. Yeah, I didn't like it. Mm. I didn't. But yeah, those are all our best and worst from Revolution eyeshadow palettes. Now, this is kicking off a series on my channel. I am going to be doing like a best and worst eyeshadow palette from each brand dedicated. I feel like I'm going to choose five palettes and order them and rank them. I'm excited. I, yeah. So. I might not do worse. I think I've spoken about my worst. I don't think there's... Yeah, I think five from the best. Unless... I might do ten. Let's see what they say. Yeah, if there is any more I dislike, I might add it into the video but not yeah. rank it. And then I'll probably have like five or ten of my favourite and rank them. Yeah, I'm so excited for this series. Yeah. It's really good. And then I've got overall as well. So like blushes, mascara, like overall from the whole brand, I've got a box of my favourite and my, my non-favourites. So this is going to kick off a series. I'm, I'm glad now that I've started this. I'm excited that I'm part of it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I do hope you did enjoy this video. Please let me know like your best and worst of Rev Eyeshadow mm, Palettes. Yeah. Um, and go and subscribe to Jodie. She's going to be in the description box. Get her to 600. No, let's get her to 1K. <laughs> let's, <I don't> <laughs> let's zoom her across to 1K. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed and I will catch you in my next one. Bye! <laughs>